You remember that woman who you thought got you, who you desired, who did all that wonderful shit that made you squeal in bed? Remember her? That woman vanished. The second kid's into the picture. Poof. Can you sing me a lullaby? No, I, I'll be fine as long as she doesn't mention the minivan again. You should get a minivan. Jason loves ours, don't you, Jason? Uh, can we just talk about sports again? I guess it could be worse. <laughs> it's not like she's asking for a vasectomy, right? <laughs> You know how much this means to me, right? There they are. Two of them. Good to know. Smooth. Smallish. You would do it for Daisy, right? If she asked. Hell no! Oh, come on. Wow. Why is cutting me down there not in a million years? After all I went through for you? Oh, really? Your family doctor sent over your blood tests, and they are normal for a man your age who doesn't exercise. Congratulations, you are a completely average candidate for a vasectomy. Oh. Tell me, and do not spare my feelings, what did I do to deserve this? She's attacking you on three fronts. Minivan, vasectomy, and sex. She's smart, man. She's very smart. I would love to see one of you bleed out of your dicks for a week a month. You know, and you know, right. we haven't even mentioned childbirth. Okay, yet. Phil, just I... take it back right now. Oh, yeah, hey! <laughs> we found your boss. What you have to do is either work through your fears and accept your boring, sad, middle-aged married life or not. I'm going to schedule your appointment for Monday. Mon Monday? Yeah. Get the wife off your back. You have a week to decide. Dead Either way, stock up the fridge with frozen peas. Great for the swelling. Okay. Maybe we'll just postpone the vasectomy. Maybe everything can get back to normal around here. I don't think anything will be going back to normal. Kids, please go to your room. Daddy's gonna get it. <laughs>